Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, today there's something I wanted to talk about and that is how amazing cell phones are for photography and for video. And so I've got my iPhone 14 Pro right here. Oh, damn, do I have a... Oh, that's not a crack. Okay, good. Um, anyway, it shoots ProRes. It can do 240 frames per second. Um, it kind of does a lot of stuff that a much more expensive real camera does. And I'm, a, I'm always amazed with what it can do. Like, like how big is the sensor? It's like the three lenses, like the sensors has got to be like tiny. And I know that like the whole portrait mode depth of field effect is fake by using two different focal lengths, but still, I think most people can't tell the difference. And I have a feeling that, you know, pretty soon real cameras might go the way of the dinosaur. And, but that aside, so I thought, okay, so what's going on with cell phone uh, photography, videography these days? And I, you know, just was looking around the internet, YouTube, Amazon, and I see that there's like this whole new market segment of cell phone photography accessories, should I say? And one of uh, the brands that I use a lot, small rig. So this is, I should have the box. Um, this is a cage for uh, the iPhone. You push the button right here and it opens up. You just slide your cell phone in. And ta-da! So you got three quarter inch 20 screws here, two, two more here on the bottom, three here, you've got a cold shoe and a cold shoe and two more, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mounting screws and two cold shoes. Man, I, that, that, that makes you want to do something stupid like, uh, let's see, what, what can I put on here that would be really stupid? <laughs> Okay, that makes sense. Let's make it even whoa, 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 whoa. No, to make it even more stupid. You can light your talent from the side. Okay, yeah, so I'm being lit from the side. What is that? What does that even look like? What? What's Okay, so this looks really ridiculous and I don't see any reason why anyone would make such an abomination like this. The real thing that I wanted to actually show is this thing right here. But this is an anamorphic lens. And I didn't even know that there was such a thing called an M mount. So apparently these guys are M mounts. Uh, lens mount per se, specifically made for cell phone cameras. It's magnetic. So this is like the part that you put on the M mount. And then, so let's do that first. But the question arises, there's three lenses. Which one do you put it on? So the first thing I was doing was, got the camera right here and I was just, you know, kind of blocking each one with my finger to see which one 
which lens does what. And you know, I always thought that like, uh, you know, the big lens was like the main lens. One of them was like the 0 0.5. The other one was the telephoto. I realized it doesn't work that way. The iPhone's camera system is constantly calculating on what blend of which lenses to put together. That was mind blowing. I always thought it was like just switching between lenses. But I realized, so this, um, this lens right here, this is the one that you wanna use. So it's pretty much just, you know, a twist on you, turn it 90 degrees. And as you see, now I'm blocking the other two lenses, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> And we'll see why. So, and then the lens, it pretty much just, it, you know, it snaps on just like that. And I can you oh, wrong way. We're seeing this like really squeezed version of the video and that's not really what we want. So it's recommended that you use a third party camera software app. And for this one, I am using an app called Photo Gear, which is free. And uh, I gotta change some settings here. I should probably screen record this, what I'm doing right now. And, whoa, yes, th that is what I'm talking about. Okay, I see what you're saying. But I think that's that, like- Give that music video effect. But I think this is like too much. Too much what? Like Wait. over the top, I put on this like, this, uh, see this? You could make the lights touch. Thing. So I could take all of this, hold on. That's how they do it in, in the music videos. Off, just with the anamorphic only, it's gonna be something like this. <laughs> and then I put some black pro mist filter. Can and you the take that off in filter. editing? No, once it's there, it's there. That blue light? Oh no, it, it, it's baked in. But that's the whole point. Like these days you can do a lot of stuff in post-production but people want to do it the analog way.